radio audience. Hmm. Okay, if, I'm, I'm going to have to navigate just a little bit here. You mentioned uh, John Lindsay. I noticed I got a Lindsay poster behind the door. Right yes. The side of the door. No, right. So, right, right, right. Let's talk about Steiger because he's from this area. Right. And uh, I, he, I think his son was a graduate of, of uh, Oshkosh. I don't know whether he's even here or in Madison. Uh, I don't know about the elder Steiger, but there was a father son. The son went into, I think, the, the elder Bush administration or even into. Well, a, when Bill Steiger was in Congress, the elder Bush was also in Congress. And so I, the elder Bush was the godfather of Billy Steiger, the, the, the young Steiger boy. He died of a heart attack. Yeah, well, well he had uh, uh, had uh, childhood diabetes, and so he had this susceptibility, which we didn't realize, but it, it, he died quite young, about 1980. I've heard that the father and son, both being in politics and were uh, in, at different points of view in terms of what should happen to the university and the state colleges. Someone mentioned this to me that there was a headline that said Steiger, oh, it was uh, Fred Rizzer. He said he saw a headline one time, Steiger versus Steiger, and it was about the father and son's quarreling about the uh, pr proposed policies for higher education. Do you remember anything about that? Well, which Steiger are you talking about? You're talking about Congressman Steiger's father, who was Carl Steiger, who was a businessman, but he was also a regent okay. at the university. And I, he, he, he owned, I guess, a, a, a carpet company, and he, he had some real estate property. And of course, the Steiger Parks in Oshkosh uh, are the, uh, located where the, the elder Steiger had some business. Okay, and then his son went into the uh, Congress? And then well, Bill Steiger, while he was a student of Madison, was active in politics.